Hello everyone. So welcome you all to a short tutorial. So my dear friends, today we have come to exercise 2.3 class 9 maths. So today we are going to solve question number 4 and this question number 4 is about factorization. We have to factorize the given problems or the given polynomial. So how do we do it? So let's see how we have to go about so this is very easy if you understand all right so try to understand when I'm explaining it to you so now all right let me write here solution all right so 12 x square minus 7 x plus 1 so now you know the first thing here we have to do is that we need to split the middle term now what is the middle term so this is one side, this is left hand side, this is right hand side. In the middle, what do you see? You see minus 7x. So we have to split this minus 7x. All right, this number 7 we have to split. And you cannot just split it into 3.5 and 3.5. You need to split it in such a way that when you multiply, that is, you know, the. All right. So even before, you know, even before splitting this, what we have to do first, first number and last number you multiply. So 12 into 1, right here, 12 into 1, you get what? You get 12, right? You get 12. So now you have to choose such a number, right? You have to choose such a number, which when you multiply them, you should get 12. And when you plus them or minus them doing subtraction or addition you should get minus 7 right so what can that be the number so in order to find that you need to factorize just factorize and see 1 into 12 equals 12 12 into 1 equals 12 4 into 3 equals 12 3 into 4 equals 12 then 6 into 2 equals 12 and 2 into 6 equals 12 so all these factors you see now you try to observe which among these when you plus and minus you get 7 and when you multiply you get 12 so here you can see 4 and 3 or 3 and 4 right we will split this so how we will split you see uh, 12x square all right so here you have seen what have you seen you have seen that we got the factors as 3 and 4 minus 3 and minus 4 so minus 3 see here minus 3 minus 4 minus 3x minus 4x we get what we get minus 7x right so here we will write minus 4x minus 3x and plus 1 here right so now we will try to see the common between these two numbers or terms right so how do we do here we can take the common as 4x all right and inside you take 3 so 3 into 4 is 12 x into x is x square right so this much you got now again minus 1 you write here so 4x minus 1 you get minus 4x right then here what will you take common nothing is common right so here we'll just take uh, see this thing you can close your eyes and you can write exactly the same thing here also right just like this you write 3x minus 1 so now in order to get 3x minus 1, what should you have here? You should have here minus 1, right? So minus 1 into 3x is minus 3x plus minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So, all right. So whenever you go to first time, you can close your eyes and write the second term. It will be the same, right? Exactly the same. But now we have to conclude. So this two out of this two, you just write any one, right? Just write one here now whatever you see outside the bracket you write that one also one time that is 4x minus 1 so this is your required answer well so now let us continue with number 2 so number 2 we have got again three terms so the first formula is that we have to multiply the first and the last and see what we get so 2 into 3 what do you get you get 6 right 6 so what are the factors of 6 6 into 1 then 2 into 3 2 into 3 is 6 right then what else you have you don't have any more right so 3 into 2 and 6 into 1 now see now what we have to do 2x square will be as it is now 
you have to take such a number either this one or this one so that when you plus them or subtract them you should get 7 and when you multiply them you should get 6 all right so now don't you think 6 into 1 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 6 I mean 7 right correct so here we will take it as plus 6x plus 1x or just x plus 3 so now you see 6 into 1 is 6 and 6x plus 1 is 7x right so this is correct so now from these two bunches you have to take the common all right you have to take the common so what common will you take here all right now you see here you can take the common to be 2x then here in the bracket you take what in the bracket you will take x so 2x into x is 2x square this one we got already plus if I write here 3 so what am I getting 2x into 3 is 6x 6x right so I got this 2 now here as I told you that when you got the first one for the second one you can just close your eyes and write down right so just write the same thing here that is x plus 3 so now in order to get x plus 3 what you should have outside you should have what you should have plus 1 right so 1 into x is 1x 1 into plus 3 is 3 now so what do you get here you get x plus 3 any from this 2 you write 1 then again whatever is there outside the bracket you write it down that is 2x plus 1 so this is your answer let us continue with number 3 so again as we have done it earlier first and last number multiplication what do you get you get 36 what 36 minus 36 you are getting so what are the factors of 36 what are the factors of 36 the factors of 36 are 9 into 4 is 36 then 12 into 3 is 36 right then uh, 6 into 6 is 36 then 36 into 1 is 36 so you know you have to see such a number when you plus them or minus them you're going to get plus 5 and when you multiply you get minus 36 so 12 minus 3 will get 9 no not possible this one not possible this one not possible so the only possible is 9 into 4 so 9 into 4 is 36 right and again 9 minus 4 is how much 5 right so we'll get this one only so let's solve 6x square all right 6x square then here what we will write plus 9 minus 4 see plus into minus is minus then 9 into 4 is 36 so minus 36 right and here also since we have positive sign here so when 9 is having positive sign it will become plus 5 suppose if I write here minus 9 and plus 4 then the sign will be negative here which is not acceptable right and then all right I forgot to write here x x minus 6 so let's continue so this is one group this is another group so let us see the common now so what common can we have here so what common can we have here so let's take it as 3x then 2 here 3 into 2 is 6 x into 1 is x all right x into x is x square right plus if i write here 3 if i write here 3 so 3 into 3 is 9 3x into 1 is 3 9x right so now again from here see as i told you i will not think about anything i'll just write the same thing once again here 2x plus 3 all right 2x plus 3 then here what i should write let us see i have to get 4 right so if i write 2 here so 2 into 2 is 4 but it should be minus right minus so that 2 into 2 minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 x then plus into minus is minus then 2 into 3 is 6 right so now we'll, these are the same thing right so i would write here one time one time then whatever is there outside the bracket i'll write it in the next bracket that is 3x 
minus 2. So this is your answer. For the last number, there is number 4, right? So how do we do it? Similarly, the first number and last number multiplication, we get here 12, minus 12, right? So what are the factors of 12? Minus 1 into 12 is minus 12, then minus 4 into 3 is minus 12, then minus 6 into 2 is minus 12, right? So now you have to choose such a factor which when you subtract or add you should get minus x here and when you multiply you should get minus 12. So here 6 minus this is not possible 6 minus 2 or 6 plus 2 not possible here also it's not possible what about here 4 minus 1 4 all right yes this is possible right 4 minus 3 is 1 right and 4 into 3 is minus 12 right so we will take this one that is 1 that is 3x square minus 4x this x plus 3x minus 4 did you understand how it came if no then you you see here this one only we took right you see here minus 4 and plus 3 how much you get minus x you get right this one you get and this minus 4 is minus 4 now divide it into two groups so now you take the common so x we can take common right then here 3x so x into x is x squared 1 into 3 is 3 minus you take here 4 4 x into 4 is 4x right now again see as i told you the same thing we will write here just close your eyes and you write it all right the same thing here now outside you see what will you write nothing to write just write one here so now one into all this will be the same thing right now you write this out of this two you just write one three x minus four and again whatever is there outside the bracket you put them inside the bracket and write that is x plus one so this is your required answer right so i hope you understood and if you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section and let me know and don't forget to like share and subscribe to Ashok tutorials and if you like this video if you feel like anything you have learned from this particular video then please give us a th give a thumbs up and yes of course share it with your friend right so thank you everyone and with this we have completed the exercise 2.3 question number 4 now in the next video we will be doing exercise 2.3 only but question number 5 the last question right so i hope you understood thank you everyone for watching